G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Skyrim Anniversary Edition Survival Playthrough. Where are we up to? Well, I noticed for a start that it's early morning and we need to rest and to eat. So... Well, actually, what were we going to do next? I think think we were going to hmm oh that's all right we're we've got to go back to Riften. yeah we'll just rest for say 10 hours Um, how are we doing for things? Black robes, lucky fishing hat. <sighs> yeah. mm, lots of food. Although we could stand to take a bit more with us in case we need it. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I've been thinking about this. I don't have any in there. Got a whole heap of stuff to sell here. Hmm. Completely forgot I had all of this. Let's grab that all and sell that. Um, and that has slightly uh, distracted me from what I was going to do. Well, I'm not going to do it right now, but what I want to do, um, I want to see if the camping supplies that I use to set up a campsite, if I can set up multiple campsites. Let's take that with us. So we've got two lots of camping supplies. Uh, because if I can set up multiples, in fact, I'll put one, it's absolutely useless to put one right here. So maybe I won't. Um, I wanted to do it as a test, though. The idea is if, if I can set up multiple camping supplies. See, well, I haven't been using the camping supplies because they're a one use only. But I've also never tested to see, or at least not recently, tested to see if you can put down multiples of them. I seem to recall using some sort of camping mod at some point that would only allow you to do, to have one active at a time. So anytime you decided to set up another campsite, it would destroy the old one. I don't know if that was this camping supplies part of the uh, creation club or if it was actually something else because the thing is if you can set up multiple campsites and just leave them everywhere then that's actually a good thing and I should be doing that more I should be taking camping supplies with me to every location I'm about to go to set up a camp outside that location and that way i can rest before i go in i can cook up any any food i might need but importantly i can get that rest that i need um now the reason i want to test this is because i want to do a series well at least one if not a series of videos that talk about strategies for using survival mode and in particular even though I'm not playing this survival mode playthrough as a mage, if you are playing as a mage, fatigue is a major problem for you. Um, and so if you get tired, you, it's to your best advantage to get a couple of hours sleep to reduce your fatigue because fatigue wipes out manager, mana regen and actually lowers the amount of mana you have available in general so i want to be sure or i want to find out for sure whether you can stock up basically 
and set up multiple campsites um, because that would be a useful thing to do, I feel. If you can't, then it doesn't change the strategy, but it makes it a little bit more cumbersome because you have to carry around... I always carry around a set of camping supplies, but I just never use it. If, if the case is, is that you can only ever have one, then I should be using those camping supplies more and making more and just sort of always taking one with me knowing that it is going to be sacrificial. Are you back to, you're not back to selling crossbows. Not that I need them because I have a good supply now of bolts. Speaking of that, how am I actually doing for bolts? I have 245 dwarven bolts and 1500 steel bolts. I am doing well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Yep. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them Okay, I don't want this, 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 that. Alien. Um, it is buggy. The horse armor is definitely buggy. Um, when I bought this horse armor this time, uh, it didn't work the first time. Once I saved, closed the game and reopened it, which for me was the next time I streamed, the horse had armor on. And occasionally, um, I will go into a dungeon or a town or whatever and come back out and the horse won't have the armor on anymore. So, yeah, I don't particularly like this horse armor. In fact, I have used other mods which had horse armor in them and I liked them much better than the Creation Club horse armor. In particular, the mod that I was using, whose name escapes me at the moment, but it had, um, it gave horses a carrying capacity because it was assumed that part of the saddle was a saddle bag. Um, and so the way that you equip the horse armor was to actually open up the horse's inventory and give it the armor. So you carried the horse armor with you until you decided to put it on the horse. The advantage of that was each horse armor had an actual armor rating, so you could see what it was doing to protect your horse. Whereas this Creation Club horse armor, it only really appears to be decorative. You don't get any information as to whether the elven or the steel is actually protecting the horse better. Um, so there's no way, there's no information as to whether it's better than just the standard horse or whether elven is better than steel or steel is better than elven because normally in the base game elven armor is light armor steel armor is heavy armor therefore one would assume that the elven armor doesn't provide the same level of protection as the steel but there is absolutely no information um as I, I have no information as to whether it provides any actual armor at all. Um, my guess would be it doesn't. Um, so, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm playing an, an unmodded survival playthrough at the moment, so I haven't bothered to do anything else. Yeah, PS4 is very uh, limited for mod options, so yeah, hopefully you can find something else. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't bother with it. it. As I said, to me, hang on a sec, she thinks I'm sick. What have I got going on here? Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I better fix that 
very quickly. Back anytime if you need a remedy. Did that fix that? Please tell me I got it soon enough. I did. What do you need, my friend? Um, yes, anyway, as I was saying, I wouldn't bother about it. If you're playing on PS4 and it doesn't work, it crashes, ignore it. It appears to be entirely cosmetic. There is nothing that suggests that it actually does anything useful for your horse. Um, if there was some mechanic that it was obvious that this is actually, you know, providing armor to your horse, then I would, you know, I would try and make the effort if I were you to, to get it to work or find an alternative. Um, but I, I just wouldn't worry about it. Uh, you know, nice to have decorative, but hey, it doesn't work. What's the, what's the worry? You're no worse off than you were before. I'll grab that. And I think that'll do for potions. Any, oh, you have fire salts. Any void salts. And you have some void salts. Wonderful. Until next time. So, how are we looking? I've got a pickaxe I've got to get rid of. Or put away those robes and some rings I'm going back to Riften anyway but having said that I might as well head on up here and see if Farangar wants to buy that stuff Yeah, well, I'm going to test it. I, I don't know if you've tested the camping in the survival mode. Um, but I wanted to because I haven't... I know that I played around with survival mode months back. And I played around with a camping mod. And I don't recall which one it was. But... Um, I was pretty sure that one of the mods that I used for camping didn't let me have more than one campsite at a time. Um, and so that seems like a problem. So we're going to test that out. In fact, even though Whiterun is so close, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one camp outside Whiterun because that way I don't have to pay to sleep in the inn if I don't want it. Man, I'm getting some stutters, some frame stuttering. Hmm, that is a little bit annoying. And I don't know why, because nothing's changed in my game setup or my computer setup today. So yeah, let's put a camp outside Whiterun, and then what I might do is I might throw down, or go back to the house, and I'll throw down another camp out there, and we'll see what happens. Uh, CBT Mick, is it? Um, I prefer crossbows. Only in this game, and only because of the way they work. Um... The, the bows in this game are really stupidly set up. And they all have different speeds. Every other weapon in the game has a single speed associated with it, uh, including crossbows. But every bow is a different speed. And that... Have I heard that they're reforming the Dawn Guard? Uh, I actually know that they're reforming the Dawn Guard because I am a member of the Dawn Guard. But yes... Grendel, I, I have heard. Thank you. Uh, let's sort of go about here. Right. Yeah, hit the right keys, Tony. Let's set up a camp there. Right, so we have a camp. 
with a little fire stuck away in the rocks. Let's go home and we'll waste this last camping supply and see if we can set it up outside our house and whether it destroys the other one. Actually, no, let's not do that. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? I want to go to Riften, my man. Climb and back and we'll be off. It's almost getting downright hot now. That'll do for now. Uh, let's head for where we need to go, which is just over here, the Rift Watchtower. And when we get there, we're going to chuck down a another campsite and see what the game does. Either way, we'll use the campsite to rest up before we head in. But it will sort of inform decisions that I potentially make in the future about how I recommend people use uh, campsites. Oh, there's something right there. Is he coming? He is. Dodged. Uh, I don't have any sweet rolls, so no, they didn't. That guard must have mistaken me for someone else complaining. Quick save because I'm sure this won't be the only thing in the wilderness that wants to attack me. Although the foxes don't, which is nice. Actually, this area should be clear. There was a whole bunch of wolves and bears and trolls. Oh, no. There's a wolf. He's right about there. Well, how was that? Completely blind shot, and I hit him. And I took out his companion as well. I'm assuming it was his companion. Either that or I just shot... Whatever it was that... Fox was trying to kill. No, it was his companion. G'day, Havoc. Has anyone ever actually tried mead? I want to know if anyone's ever actually drunk mead. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I mean, I don't drink a lot of alcohol as it is, but mead was just revolting. Is that the only wolf in the region, or is there going to be more? I feel like there's definitely going to be more, although there is a deer right there that isn't moving. 
Never heard of Nilk. Well, yes, I do admit I was probably a little bit older than 16 when I first tried mead. So it's understandable if you haven't tried mead at the age of 16. I have no idea what you mean by full send. So I'm going to say no, I'm not full send. Because it means nothing to me. Okay, so that allowed me to create the second campsite. And it says map updated. Does it show? So there's my current campsite. Hmm. I think it destroyed the campsite outside of Whiterun. We will have to check when we go back there. Let's quick save here. Is it going to let us sleep for... Let's just get like... Four hours sleep, which has reduced some of the... What is my current active... Still drained. Let's get another couple of hours. Yeah, I'm still drained, but that's all right. I'll, I'll live with it. Roast goat, satisfied... We should be full now. Okay. Let's head up here. So we got a guy at the front door. We had a guy at the front door. The other two are going to come out the door or anything like that? Or... I feel like they're coming down the stairs. Now they've stopped. I, mean, I don't think I've been to this watchtower before. I can't imagine it's all that big. But I guess there could be an underground portion. I'm a spring sort of person. What was that? Can't hide from me. He says as he runs away and dies a painful death. And that is stand there and say, I'll show you what a real look can do. We need salt pile is what I need. And I don't know if these guys have got any. Oh well, must have run off. Well, it depends, Havoc. Um, down in Tasmania, it can get quite cold. Uh, I've stood in the harbour at Hobart, which is the capital of Tasmania. And... There's nothing between you and the South Pole but a few stray penguins. So in winter, Tasmania can get quite cold. I don't live there though. I live in Brisbane, which is a little bit over halfway up the eastern coast. And it never gets, well, it rarely gets below freezing here. In fact, it rarely gets below about 10 degrees Celsius here. If I'm being entirely honest. 
but summers can get to the mid to late 30s, sometimes into the 40s, depending on the whether we're in a heat wave or not. I'm going to put that note back because it's entirely useless. I've also got no idea what Ashcash is, so... There wasn't anything else I knew that I wanted. No, there wasn't. Okay. Well, the thing is, Skyrim has such a varied climate. I mean, look at the area I'm in now. This is, you know, this is sort of like the climate where I live. I live in a very green part of the world. Um, we get a lot of rain. It's warm most of the time. Which is exactly what this feels like but you go a little bit that way and you know you're gonna freeze to death uh, the best way up is over here isn't it where did I come no it's back this way Oh, this will do. It's not actually the way, but let's go up here. Oh, no, I don't really want to be here, but I've just done this place. I don't need to come back here again. That's all right. Take a look. What we got? Yeah, I don't want that. any salt pile. You have a single salt pile. That's annoying. I mean, it's not your problem that you have a single salt pile. It's annoying that I can't get any more than that. Because that's what I'm running out of in the game at the moment, is salt pile. Not that it should be a major problem. I think I have over a hundred 
salmon steaks waiting for me back home. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of new um, alchemical ingredients added with some of the Creation Club stuff. It's called, it's part of the Arcane Accessories pack, I believe. I haven't bothered to see what they do. Uh, about all I've done is there doesn't appear to be like a potion of warmth or a potion of anti-fatigue. Um, anything like that, so I haven't worried too much about what those new things do. I feel like, as part of survival mode, there should have been... Oh, I've got a thief who wants to kill me. He's a Khajiit, and he's waiting back there. The minute I get off my horse, he's going to attack. No? Well, he's crouched down right there. Oi. So, yeah, I felt as part of the survival mode, there should have been spells that do things like a spell of warmth that lasts for, like, you know, five minutes. No, none of the alcohols or anything like that warm you up, but they should. Uh, you can, look, don't get me wrong, you can, I, I have one on me, you can make hot potato soup that gives you warmth for 300 seconds. But I also feel like there should be dedicated potions for it. There should be spells for it as well. So you should be able to cast a spell which warms you up for, say, you know, 60 seconds or 90 seconds or something like that. And maybe the spell has different levels so that you can get even more warmth. Because quite frankly, if you don't play as a Nord, you're going to have problems with warmth in this game. Um, if you do play as a Nord, well, no, sorry, not if you do play as a Nord. Um, the other two mechanics, fatigue and um hunger uh no this isn't modded jake this is uh just using the um creation club content that has come with the anniversary edition uh i don't like any of the daedric princes frankly um but if i have to accept any of them um probably meridia because at least she is against um vampires and things like that uh, but as i was saying i feel the creation club the, the survival mod should have had spells that basically do all of the things so there should be a spell that can temporarily reduce the effect of hunger but the downside is, is that it actually, once the spell wears off, it makes you even more hungry than you were before. Similarly, a spell that does the same sort of thing with the fatigue mechanic. So that a mage, for example, can, can use the spell to remove any of the negative effects on their mana that fatigue has. But as soon as the spell wears off, the effect comes back but it's even worse than it was before. So it basically accelerates your fatigue or your hunger or whatever. Um, I, feel, I feel that would have been an interesting mechanic to put in the survival mode because quite frankly, food isn't really a big, like the hunger thing isn't really a big thing in this. It is so easy to just carry a bit of food with you so that you don't, get the negative effect from hunger um but the negative effect that you get from lack of sleep for a mage is pretty huge right because if you have a look at me at the moment i am feeling drained magic and stamina regenerate 25 percent slower beneficial potions are 25 percent less just that magicka and beneficial potions being less effective 
is going to kill a lot of mages. And in particular, I, you know, uh, we have people who join this chat regularly who say they've tried to play mages in survival mode. And whenever they go up to um, Windhelm, they almost die because the cold just wipes out their health. So I feel there should be spells that can negate all of those effects. But once the spell wears off, the effect potentially comes back and it's even worse. Back all Let's testing this one here. Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. I'll buy whatever you're looking to get rid of. Damn it, you don't have any I'll take the plentiful healing. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You would think that things like the fire spell would warm you up. Skooma, for example, should get rid of your fatigue um, because it's a stimulant. You know, alcohol should help to warm you up as well, even though everybody knows that the effects of alcohol warming you is actually really temporary. But then so is the hot soup that I've got. That's temporary. So... Yeah, it is it is a case of there's so many little things that were already in the game that they could have put in. But the big thing, I feel, is the fact that you've got this cold mechanic. The only way to do anything about it is the clothes that you wear. Now, if you're going light armor, you start with fur, but you've got to be careful because not all the fur armor actually helps. Some of it is terrible orcish armor whether you're going heavy or light works as you can see here that that orcish armor is giving me a warmth of 54 and that's what you're looking for the body should be 54 arms and feet and head should be in the 20s that's a good set of armor so fur is your early game light armor and steel armor is your early game heavy armor that will give you that level of warmth Orcish armor is a good middle level armor. And then at higher levels, it's dragon bone. Whether you're going the light dragon bone or the heavy dragon bone. The other option is, is um, Stalrim at later game, at later levels, uh, is, is the only other armor that I know of that provides a level of warmth, warmth that you want. So if you're a mage, you're out of luck. Um, and that's why I think there should be spells that mages can use to increase their warmth, even if it's only temporarily, they just keep casting it to keep themselves warm, much as they do with their um, with their protection spells, you know? And smithing is definitely a necessity, yes, because you're going to... Well, smithing isn't that much of a necessity. You can just find the pieces of armour, um... You don't have to make them, but yeah, you, you do still uh, need to be careful. Oh, no, they haven't reset yet. Okay. So yeah, some more thought could have gone into the survival mode. I mean, it's, it's still interesting and challenging and all that. But in reality, there's only three races that you want to be in survival mode the way it currently is and that is nords are the best arguably the best because they get plus 25 um they get plus 25 warmth um orcs are arguably the second best because they get plus 15 warmth but then they also get a bonus to fatigue and hunger so that they don't get as fatigued or as hungry um, so overall, if you're looking at everything, Orcs are probably better than Nords because they get the bonuses to everything. Khajiit get a bonus to warmth of plus 10, um, and they can also eat raw food without getting food poisoning. And then, of course, the race that you probably don't want to do is, um, Argonians because they have a penalty to warmth. Uh, they have a, they have a 10 point penalty to warmth. Uh, so they're all because they're cold blooded and um, they do have the advantage that they can eat raw food, raw meat. Um, but that's the only advantage that they have. Um, 
I think there's, uh, I'm looking for a, no, it's not in here. Where is the skinning rack? I remember there being a skinning rack somewhere. No, it's back at the smithy. Of course it is. I think personally, if any skill, like there's one, the, the skill that I would not neglect, it doesn't mean you have to have it or you have to level it a lot, but you like I've done playthroughs, non-survival playthroughs, where I really haven't bothered to use restoration at all. I've just used potions for everything. You can't afford to do that. Thanks, the Big Willy. Thanks for the follow. Uh, you can't afford to to not use restoration in survival mode because you really want to keep your potions uh, for when you really need them. When, um, because when you get cold, you lose health, and that's that's pretty drastic. You know, um, not having health, you know, reducing your health at any time just because it's cold makes things really hard for you because uh, short of chugging one of those warming soups, there's not a lot you can do about it. And even when you chug that warming soup, it's not going to give you back all of your health. Depending on, on where you are, you may still be too cold to get all of your health back. Cozy little place. Keep yourself armed and protected as best you can. Oh, I didn't see if any of this Dwemer can be converted to ingots. I should do that first. And that. Yep, I can. One of those and one of those. Brilliant. Let's sell the rest. This is fine. What do you need? Blades? Armor, smithing materials. Uh, I need to sell that. I need to sell those, and I need to put that axe back. Did I get the next mission from? No, I didn't. I need to get the next mission from Celine. Well, actually, I don't need to. I like what Isran has done with the place. But I'm starting to think you like this as much as I do. Here's the location of the next set of Dormer diagrams. Thanks. Rudolph's house. That's over on Solestein. Damn it. Okay, before we go to Solestein, then we are going to go back. To our house. Well, actually, we're going to go back to White Run and see if the camp that we set up outside White Run was destroyed. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. But we're going to find out for sure. It's not a huge deal if it is, because it's not that expensive to make camping supplies. The problem is you have to have a forge or anvil nearby to make it. That's the issue. I would like it that you can... First of all, it would be good if you can get firewood from any tree without having to... Uh, you know, find a, a chopping block. But also, it would be better if, for example, you could make the camping supplies at a, um, at a tanning rack rather than having to go to a forge to do it because tanning racks are much more frequently found throughout the wilderness. Uh, whereas finding a forge so that you can make your camping supplies if you're out of supplies 
is a bit of a nuisance. I also feel that if you break down the camp by actually clicking on it and saying break down, you should get the stuff back and you should be able to use it again. But the game doesn't let you. So I think if you want that sort of stuff, there are mods that can do that for you. And I would recommend getting those mods if that's what you want. Um... I don't know if there are any mods that do some of these things I've been talking about with warmth spells and stuff like that. I haven't looked recently to see if there's any new ones. But I did have a tent at one point that was a mod. The other thing is, is there was a mod that I used to use that was for that had um, bandoliers and capes and cloaks. Um, I don't remember if those capes and cloaks had warmth, but I feel like they should have if they didn't. And I feel like the survival mod should have included something like a cape or a cloak or something that you could use to have a little bit of extra warmth because, yeah, anyone in a, clo in a cold climate is going to have some sort of cape or cloak or something like that that they are going to use. That is just standard. What are you? Oh, that's, um... That's my eek. Glad I didn't shoot at him. I need to cook that. Need to cook a lot of that, but I don't have any more salt pile. It would be really funny if there was like a one in a million chance that my eek actually attacks you and kills you with one hit. Just randomly out of the blue, you're just walking along, minding your own business. You see my eek and you go, oh yeah, that's my eek, no worries. And then bam, out of nowhere, he comes in and kills you. And then never does it again. Because it would be so funny because it would be, it would take, like it would just be pure chance if anyone ever got it, ever, ever actually got it to happen on video to prove that it happened to them. Oh yeah, I was playing this the other day and my eek killed me. You wouldn't believe it. And no one would because they've never seen it happen. And then it turns out someone manages to finally get it on video. Anyway, enough of my insane ramblings and ravings. I just know as a developer, I have been a developer in the past. Um, that's the sort of thing that I would do in a game like this. Um, yes, we're going back to Whiterun. We're not going into Riften. Where do you want to go? Uh, Whiterun. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar, Ragnar the Red. I'm riding down to Whiterun from Old Rorikstead. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Maybe it's the Christmas spirit. G'day, Atra. And yes, my camp is gone. So you can only have one campsite at a time with the Creation Club. Uh, what's it called? Camping. Creation Club Camping. It allows you to create a single campsite. That's it. And it says it creates a fast travel marker, but of course you can't fast travel. So it creates a marker to remind you where the campsite was, but you cannot fast travel to it.
Thanks, Big Willie. We are tired, aren't we? Get over there. What have we got in here that we can do stuff with? Two steel ingots. We have yet to get dwarven smithing, have we? Oh, we have! Oh, well. What? Oh, because I don't know how to make dwarven bolts yet. That's why I'm not making them. Or maybe I'm supposed to make them at the forge at... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to head inside. We're going to rest. We're going to eat. All that good stuff. Do I have anything to put away? Oh, yes, I do. So I had some dwarven scrap, which I didn't sell, which is unfortunate. But I've got more ingots, which is nice. Uh, I need to put the fire salt the garlic, the salt pile, and the void salts. Well, the void salts go in here, so that was good. Let's cook up some of that. I'll sell that later, and that's all good. Um, what we're going to do is, after we do a couple of things inside here, we're going to go and unlock Mia Watch, only because... I want to, I know that the smithy in Mia Watch can be used to make dwarven bolts, if you know how. Um, the other place that you can do it, of course, is over at Fort Dawnguard, but I don't want to have to go all the way back to Fort Dawnguard just to craft... Um, just to craft dwarven bolts. So, I want one potato. Let's, yeah, just here is what I need. So, no, I want to cook the hawker loaf. And then another hot potato soup. Carry weight's a bit higher than I want, but I'm carrying scrap metal and I'm carrying a lot of potions and food. I got uncooked food here, so let's put that away. Uh, uncooked, 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 uncooked. Uncooked. Beautiful. I just don't have the salt anymore to cook anything, which is a pain in the buttocks. Yeah, I have 164 salmon, so I am good for food in reality. I shouldn't be worrying that I don't have salt. I should be using up all of this stuff first. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go and I'm going to rest. I'm going to eat. It's a nuisance that I have to rest during the day. But that's fine. I'm going to grab... Um, what else? Let's grab... A three cooked beef. And just chug those down. Okay, two of them. Still carrying way more than I need to, but that's fine. Let's 
Take your carriage to Morthal. Go and have a look at... No, not that. Go and have a look at Mere Watch. Only, as I said, because I want to be sure... I, I, I can't remember if I know how to make Dwarven Bolts yet or not. If I do... Great. If I don't... Well, that's good too, because uh, I'll then know that I don't know how to yet. Um, but I want to know how to make Dwarven Bolts, because I got a whole bunch of Dwarven Metal there, and that's the best thing to make with that, and that will help my smithing, etc, etc, etc. So, we're going to do that. But then, um, we might as well head over to Solastein and quickly do this mission over there to learn how to make dwarven crossbows that might actually tell us how to make crossbow bolts as well i don't remember but i've got dwarven smithing at the moment i just don't know if dwarven smithing is enough to know how to make dwarven bolts i'm pretty sure it's not but we're going to double check because what i don't know is there, there there must be some little setting that they can set when they build a house area like this in a mod that says whether the forge that you have is able to smith some of these specialty dwarven items like crossbows and bolts because in the base game like before the anniversary edition when the drake when the dawn guard quest uh the dawn guard add-on came out the only place that you could smith dwarven bolts was at fort dawnguard there was no other option anywhere else as far as i know good old ragnar the red yeah see this sucks we are chilly and we have lost a small portion of our health um in fact we're going to go this way So yeah, I am playing a character that has the best warmth in the game with the warmest armor possible. By the way, all of the warm armors give you the same warmth. There is no, like, super special set of warm armor that gives you more warmth. You could, if you want to, just use... Where'd he go? No, damn it, he's over there now. You could, if you want to, just use, like, fur armor the entire playthrough in an attempt to stay warm. I am wasting bolts everywhere here, trying to hit this goddamn Chorus. I hate these things. And I hate the fact that I can't see him at the moment. There we go. We got him. Come here, horse. All right. What do you have, my man? We know that you have the spell term of that, you have a couple of those, and you have your journal which tell and the notes which tell us all about this. Which basically There it is. Let us know that to get into this place what we have to now do wrong button. There we go. That causes the little phantom bunny to come running over here and jump in the non-existent well. And we can now go in. Great location terrible for survival mode because it's so far away from everything else uh but i am going to rate it in the chance that there might be some salt in here 
that's all I really want at the moment is some more salt uh, no I didn't want green apples I don't want tankards or carrot or that or any of these uh, is there garlic bread that's there's some garlic bread over there was there then there's another two pieces of garlic bread there wonderful uh, I don't want any of that that's a sack of flour they're all sacks of flour those loaves of bread could be used to make more garlic bread that's about it there's coins there there's more coins there there is one lump of firewood there more coins there a couple of push-ons uh, some stall rim a few more coins there Coins there, glass dagger and a few trinkets. Some Dwemer stuff, which is not really all that useful because I can't smelt it. And then upstairs. Soul gems, which have nothing in them. Making them practically useless. Uh, there's a handful of potions here. Well, there's more than a handful, actually. No. Get out of there. In fact, the best option is for me to come around the back. And that way I can grab that, that, that. Two more fire salts and a frost salt. Some more garlic. No void salts. What's... The satchel's empty... You missed a potion back there. Uh, this is what I want to check though. The forge. Dwarven. No. I don't know how to make dwarven bolts yet. If I did, they would be listed right there. As I know in my other playthroughs, I could at that point. Let's grab all of that and those. Uh, we've got some steel up there I wish all this stuff wasn't so hard to get to I really do there's another steel and get right there got it I don't really want iron per se, so I'll leave the rest of that. Don't care about this staff enchanting stuff, so I'm going to just leave all of that for the moment. And I don't think there's really anything else around here that I want. Overall, this is a better place than the Tundra House to store trophies. But, as I've said, I don't like this location because it's too far from everything in survival mode. At least when you're streaming, anyway. In survival mode, it, it's so boring to have to travel for, you know, five minutes of real time from here to get to anywhere that you want to do anything. Like, I can't fast travel from here back to anywhere. Even if I fast travel to... Um, to Morthal, I can't get a carriage from Morthal. I can't fast travel, I, like, even if I go back to Dawnstar, I can't get a travel, uh, fast travel from there. My best options are to come back to Solitude or to just say, screw it, and come all the way back through here down to Whiterun. Um, 
And I would do that if I wanted to go through... Well, actually, yeah, I will. I was going to say I would do that if I wanted to go through Leviathan right now. But actually, I don't mind going through Leviathan right now. Uh, it might be an interesting... Actually, you might be right. There might be a fast travel boat at Dawnstar. I've never looked. All I know is, is that there's no normal fast travel and the only other way to do it is via carriage or dragon right Well, at least I got a level out of that, but I can't really use it at the moment because it's bloody cold. It says I've warmed up, though, so I might just get off the horse. No. And do that. And I need to eat, so let's eat that hawker loaf. And we're well fed again. And then it tells me I'm chilly again. I'm headed the wrong way. Now, I don't think I need to go all that... No, I was headed the right way. What am I doing? East is the right way. like this is going to be fun because I'm going to be for the first time ever I'm going to be taking a well, first time for me I'm going to be taking a horse through Leviathan which seems a supremely dangerous thing to do ultimately I want to sneak through this place as much as possible because I might be able to kill these frost trolls using stealth. Might. But I'm also very cold, which is going to be a problem. I thought that was one of the frost trolls, but... Maybe not, or maybe it was way, or it was, but it was way further away than I thought it was. Okay, I feel like I need to kill the frost trolls before I do anything else. Because so I do want to go and have a look. The uh, other thing that I'm planning on doing in this playthrough, that I would like to do in this playthrough... is kill all the dragon priests which means i want to go to this place just here which has all the dragon priest masks and i might as well do that now while i'm in the area is is my basic thought I don't want leather boots. They're pointless. Okay, we don't see that guy there. Look at all that health I'm losing. 
it's not going to be a warm place here. Is it any warmer inside here than it is out there? Like, uh, as I said, I'm playing a Nord, right? I have a bonus of 25 to my warmth. And I'm at half health. I'm basically at half health because it's that cold. Now, admittedly, I haven't put any points into health in this playthrough. But this is a problem. This is when the hot potato soup comes out. And look, the hot potato soup didn't do a lot. I'm at three quarters health rather than half health. So basically any normal character in this game, so anyone who isn't a Nord, Orc, or Khajiit would have been at half health after they took the potato soup. And they would have been probably at a quarter health before that. That's how dangerous it is in the cold environments in this game with um, survival mode enabled. And I've got to be quick about this because this soup only lasts for a short amount of time. I'm in fact going to be... Well, no, I know there's at least one more troll up this way that I have to take care of, but I want to shoot from stealth. There's more than one, but there's one that's usually in this tower here. That's another one out there. And he's dead. I'm going to ignore my bolts that are probably sticking out of him. And I'm going to kill this guy. Because he's my other main problem. And I think there might be one more, like, up in that area. So I'm now freezing. So the potato soup is doing absolutely nothing. F well, not doing nothing for me. This is the point probably where anyone else would have died from the cold. Because uh, it was that cold that even as a Nord with potato soup, I'm at half health. Um, that's That just sucks big time. I just really quickly want to come in here. I don't want to sneak. I just want to come in. I want to grab that. I want to grab that. And then I think I want to put it on. Uh, let's quick save first. I'm going to wait here for a minute because the air is warm here. So I'm going to get basically all of my health back. If I wait here long enough, I will then take the mask off, which I think drops me back into the real world. I can put the other mask on that I was using, race outside, get my horse and see how far away from Leviathan I can get while it's cold without while it's cold yeah without getting attacked because i know my chances are not good so i've got that one but i'm not going to put it on there because i want to use it so let's do that let's switch back to osis
Right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get on our horse and let's head south. And try and avoid... Any more... Uh-oh. Okay, I'll have my bolts back, please. Uh, I didn't want that, but that's okay. Let's go, horsey. down to somewhere where we get our warmth back and if it looks fairly safe we will set up a tent and rest and get our level okay it's not fairly safe there Bandits after us as well now. We might as well just head for White Run. Have I done the sword in the lake? Yes, I have. You don't know there's a. Oh no, I haven't. Either that or there's another one. Is there anything still coming after me? There's the wolf down there. I don't see any bandits. I heard the dragon approaching sound. I'm... Am I still... I'm still chilly, apparently. Okay. Well, things should warm up as we get closer to town. Did I have anything I was going to do? I can sell the, that. I can sell some of that stuff. Let's go and put the wooden mask away at home. Yeah, that's right. We've got a whole bunch of stuff from Mia Watch. We'll go and put some stuff away at home. Mostly that wooden mask more than anything. 
Oh, I was right. There is a dragon around. Just circling over there for no real reason. I don't think he knows what he wants to do. Okay, now he's decided he knows what he wants to do. I thought I had set the shout button. It's not working though. Unless it's unless the problem is I don't have any shouts set. No, I have unrelenting force set. Why is it not working? Okay, finally it decides to work. Hey, that that is my horse over there. I didn't think it was. Let's go home.
Okay. Um, nothing else to go away in here. Nope. Let's get two more potatoes, make those up. Now, is there anything else I want to put away? That. What did I just put in there? I think I put something that was cooked in there, didn't I? No. I have more. I do have more garlic in here. Actually, I think I want to grab the rest of those out of there. Let's just rest for 24 hours, shall we? Okay, what do we want to do? Probably something to do with archery, if possible. We don't have anything there. We don't have anything there. We can get... Move faster with a drawn bow? Absolutely pointless. Quick shot. Can draw a bow 30% faster. I think that does... Technically... Do something. What have we got under sneak? We can't do anything there. Don't trigger pressure plates. Is there anything else? Healing spell. That's the one. That's what we wanted. Yeah, I knew we would be hungry. In fact, let's be a bit greedy about this. Let's grab... of them. I know I'm actually carrying a lot of food, but I just feel like I want to carry... I'm going over to Solstein, I just want to carry a bunch of food over with me. I'm only really going over there for one purpose. Which is to do the quest over there. But I still feel like it's worthwhile. Taking as much food as I can. A lot of potions there. Actually, do I want to keep any of those potions? Yes, there's an enchanter's potion there. About it. We'll quickly go into White Run and see if we can sell some stuff, and then we'll try and sell some stuff at Windhelm. Windhelm, yes. 
couldn't I couldn't remember the name there for a minute. That happens to me every now and then. The names are too similar. White Run Windhelm Winterhold. It's like, is it Winter Run Windhold? It's all too similar. Yeah, I don't want to say it ten times fast. Firstly, I don't know which one you want me to say fast, but yeah, they're all White Run, Winterhold, Windhelm. And trying to say all three of them like that ten times fast, no, not going to happen. Not possible. some good people looking to protect yourself or deal some damage damn it i didn't put the wooden mask away get my own head if it weren't screwed on ah take a look Oh, look, you've got crossbow bolts and stuff again. Not going to bother buying those. I can make them soon. Thank you very much for your Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you need, my friend? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? No, I'm hopeful you're interested in mine. Oh, all right. Have you got anything I want? You've got some salt pile, which it seems wrong to buy it, and void salt. You got any potions that I want? Healing, plentiful healing. It's tempting to grab that other enchanting filter. Don't need any more cure disease, so let's see. Uh, I don't want that or that. Or that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Yep. Take a look.
Is there anything else I want? Damn it, you've got a Grand Soul Gem. I'll have to buy it, even though... What was I going to sell him? Hang on, there was something I was going to sell him, and I said, no, don't sell it, because we don't have the money. I must have accidentally clicked yes. Damn it. Oh, well. Damn it, I almost feel like I should go back home and drop off my mask and the other couple of things that I just got. But... I don't think I will. Let's head to Windhelm. Otherwise I'm just going round and round in circles all day. Talking about the weather. You're not from Windhelm. No, nah, mate, I'm from Australia. Tony, you've got plenty of salmon back home. You don't need more. Talk to Captain. If you're looking for passage, if you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. It's hard. The next thing I remember, I, there's been something strange going on. Have you been listening to me? I, well, a man's got to make a living after all. I don't remember having to pay that amount previously, but maybe if you go before the quest line, the dark, the um, Dragonborn quest line starts. Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. I don't recognize you. Just remember, any questions? I... I'm on... I don't think so, I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the... Earthstone, I think, but... I'm not sure what. Giolan. Uh... 
what am I doing? Is that the earth stone over there? Or there, or whatever it is? I don't think that actually gave me... Investigate the shrine. Okay. Where is that? Yeah, okay. It is sending me over there. Yeah, right, fine. I'll go and kill one of those things. Why not? Hmm, should eat. Here in the shrine. That you have forgotten. You there. May I ask what it... Mir... Oh, wait, how did... Mirak's been dead for... Th I'm not sure. Perhaps it... I'm afraid I... If I were you, I'd look there. By <laughs> night, we reclaim. No, actually, I'm not that interested in doing the rest of that quest line. I thought I was going to be... I keep forgetting that... It's later on in the process that you kill those guardians. You have to use the shout to unlock them all and everything. And I'm not interested in doing that at the moment. So, we are just going to... Go down here, get the dwarven crossbow schematic, and get the hell out of here. Hopefully the Ashborn won't be too much of a hazard. Some of the red are me. I don't care what they're called. I was going to. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming. Besides, I don't feel. We were searching the farm when the ash spawned. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falks. Well, there's no way he could still be alive. If General Carius, I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven. Now I said I wasn't going to do any more stuff, but I actually don't mind that quest to kill that guy. Uh, but it's not that far from where we're going. I also think I want to come over here and take on these pirates.
There you are. Give the rest of that. I don't know how that bolt ended up there. Someone could have just sat there and picked me off as I tried to make my way in. Oh, it's two in the morning. Why don't I get a few hours sleep?
You're dead, dragon. Whether you know it or not. this way. Oh. There's a chest up there. And it was unlocked. What am I doing? Not great, but we'll get by. I may end up having to se sell these dragon bones and stuff. Eat those things. Is that another one there? That's a Nyx hound. Couple of them. Make that multiple. Oh, I got rock joint. Thank you for that. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know why that burnt spriggan did not move. But I'm bloody glad it didn't.
Excuse me a sec while I ban this account. There we go. Get rid of that. what that was. Oh, just an ice mage. Don't know where you came from, but anyway. Thanks, Sink. Salvius, how are you doing? Yeah, tomorrow night I'm going to do the family thing. And I don't know if there will be a lot of food, but there will be some. So I was sort of mentioning it last night, but it seems as the years go by in my family, we tend to make Christmas a little bit smaller and smaller each year.
So we don't really do much in the way of Christmas presents anymore, and it's really just a chance to all get together as a family and have dinner. That's about it, really. I'm missing something. I'm supposed to be retrieving... Not behind there. Not in the barrels. Right, it's down here. What does the blood stained letter say? All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I've heard of other countries uh, doing the same thing where they do different times of the year. Not different. You know, some do the 24th. Some do early morning 25th. Some do lunch. Some do dinner variety of different things. In Australia, it's more often than not, it's lunchtime on the 25th is the big, like Christmas Day lunch is the big thing for us, more often than not. But I do know people here in Australia that do, you know, a big dinner on the 
Christmas Eve. Um, I know others that do, you know, big dinners Christmas on the 25th. It all just depends. Too much to run again. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man. They don't exactly grow on. Um, look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Well, that's annoying. You've got to work on Christmas Day. be on the first ship off this island if I had mining gear. It's an ami they gave they're no longer being made, so here's your coin. Keep bringing me more, and I'll keep paying you for them. Everything I've got on display, really. All right, let's smith up anything we can and then we'll head back to the mainland. heading out of here. Casting off. Captain 
Gallon does the business around here. I'm just a ship. Captain Gallon has the business. Okay, let's see if we can't sell a few more things here. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Not much, but I hope you like them. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. The finest weapons and armor. Weapon you won't armor. buy anything I've got. I'd try. Take a look. Okay. Ah, oh, so you're an alchemist then? <laughs> no, not really. But I will sell you those. Quickly scoff down some food. Get our health back to full. And we'll take a carriage back to Whiterun. Actually, no. Take a carriage to Riften. So we can hand in this quest at Fort Dawnguard. Seems pointless to go back to Whiterun only to turn around and go back to Riften again. Am I feeling sick? Oh, I am. I have droops. Can take where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Get up there. Uh, yep.
thought there was a fight going on. These are companions. Okay. Oh, they killed a bear. Rightio didn't hear any of it. Now, where's my horse? There he is. I was sure that they were coming to attack me. Okay, as soon as we get to there, to the fort, we'll sleep a couple of hours, hand in the quest, and see what new things we can construct. If we can start constructing... Well, I don't know. I probably should just finish all of her quests, because then I can construct all the different Dwemer bolts including the shock ones, which I like the most. Okay. I just contracted the disease. Where's the second one? Scouts always come in twos. Don't they? Is this a... F yep, they do. Where are you? Right. bread no longer sick just tired all right nothing in the ash pile For someone who's apparently very tired, I run quite well.
Hope you're getting along with Isran. You never disappoint. Is it really? It Here, let me show you how this works. I'll have some for sale soon. All right. One. I think I'll be sad when we're done. But I can't wait to see these drawings. It's not easy to get supplies way out here, but I'm managing. Take a look. Go and see if I can disenchant anything first. Before I sell anything else. Well, actually, very first thing, woven bolts. Can we make... We can! All right, we're at the good point now. I mean, we can also make a dwarven crossbow, but I don't think I need to worry about that because that does 78 and the elven crossbow does 81. So I've already got a crossbow which will do more. Um... No, 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 no. I'm using it first. Sorry. Okay, you can have it now. In fact, what have you got to sell? Cozy little. It's no war maidens, but I've got a decent supply. I have. Eight dwarven metal ingots. Fight bravely, friend. No, I can do it at home, and I've got the next quest. So I might as well just quickly eat something so I'm satisfied. I'll be right back, and then we're going to head home.
don't know why I switched to that, but anyway. Actually, it does make sense to to do this here, now that I think about it. Um, I have eight orven metal. Two steel, so that's ten. And I could make some stuff with that silver too. Let's smith this stuff up. bolts and some silver jewelry cozy little what do you need blades armor smithing materials good luck okay. I like what he it's not easy to get supplies way out here, but I'm managing. Take a look. Right, and I got some salt pile and some raw food on me, so let's cook some stuff up. This better be good. Now we're going to head home.
I don't really expect there to be any more scouts this time because I had some on the way in, but not willing to bet my life on it. Let's, uh, if we do see one while we're in sneak, let's see if we can use the throw voice command on it. going to be okay. Uh, you can cook them just with salt pile. You can get the the juvenile, you can cook the juvenile crabs. They're nothing special. They're just like any other fish that you cook. doing the fishing quests you need one for one of the bounties but that's about it Pretty sure I would have got, yeah, Sangua Sanguana Vampiris, whatever, eat my garlic bread. Take 
Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back, and we'll be off. Get up there. I haven't even looked where this next Warven quest thing is. Ancient technology quest is. Where is it? Oh. Okay. Damn it, I took the axe from... Um... What's her name? That's annoying. Wrong key. Damaged. Well, we can't have that. Now, can we? I have a bunch more. there that I can cook. Very good. Uh, want to sell all of those. Okay, the enchanting potion can go away here. Lots of food. Fire salts, I can make some more warm stuff. And... Uh, 
that's about it. So enchanting potion. There we go. How many fire salts did I have? Two. Let's get two more potatoes out. And make up. Two more of those. Now, I... I do have... One cure disease potion left. I have three garlic bread. I need some more butter. Ultimately in bread, but butter is the thing I'm missing at the moment to make more... Was it anything? What else did I need to make the apple dumplings? Just sacks of flint. Let's make up all of those that I've got. Get them out of the way. Braided bread is quite good for um for hunger doesn't weigh too much either. Another option if you don't wanna if you wanna go vegan. Feel like I'm carrying a lot of food here. And I am because my carry weight is way down, and I think it's really just food is the extra. I mean, I've got a woodcutter's axe on me, but a couple of other minor little things, quite a few potions, but it's mostly food that is weighing me down at the moment. Well, two camping supplies isn't great either. Uh, what is the time? 4.30 p.m. If we are going to do this mission here, what's the best way to get there? We could go to Morthal and try and go that way. Or we could just go overland this way. Or we could even go over to Rorikstead and come up that way. But either way... I can't fast travel to any of that. But I feel like this is a good time to leave because I can set up camp somewhere on the way there or when we get there and rest. So... Yeah, let's go around that way. Actually, a full save is probably a good idea. It's been a while. Go. No. Uh, I haven't tried to use the camping supplies inside a dungeon. Oh, I did do the testing just before to confirm that you can only have one campsite active at a time. It destroys the old one, which is a real pain in the butt, actually, because it would be really good to have, like, little camps just dotted all over the place that, that you could stop at any time you needed to.
You attacked me. Why should I show you any mercy? I was just minding my business. Then you came out of nowhere and attacked. Where'd the... Where'd the other guy go? There. Oh, they've got an execution order. Actively disrupting our activities. Well, that's it then. Game on. So yeah, I was talking about camping supplies. So I've noticed that you can't use them. You can't have just like a whole bunch of camps dotted all over the place. Um, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. That would be really useful. But I think my suggestion for most people in particular, if you're going to be playing a mage, is to just take some camping supplies with you. And particularly if you're going to go to a dungeon, chuck down your camping supplies outside the dungeon and rest up before you go in. That will give you the best possible um, yeah, you'll have rested up, you'll be, you'll have less fatigue, etc. Gives you the best possible setup. Uh, as for being able to use them inside dungeons, I haven't checked. But there's no reason why I can't this time. I'm going to put one outside the dungeon that I'm going to, but I have enough... Uh, leather back at home and firewood's easy to come by so I will waste one inside the dungeon and see if we can set one up in there Yeah, I want to go on the river. Okay, so you used alternative start. I think I have done that 
one where you're the, survive, the survivor of an attack, but I can't remember what it's like. Between Markarth and Solitude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought the time I did Survivor of Attack, I got I started up in the middle of the the snows as well. I don't know how that missed. Better not have got. I no, didn't get anything out of that. Good. I don't care about the other wolf. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know if that sounds all that fun to me. Yeah, the camping outside of Helgen is a good start, definitely. Because you start with an actual campsite that you can come back to at any time and use so for a survival mode using the alternative start that's probably one of the better ones i've got a feeling i've got to go down this here somewhere Okay, so let's come to here, let's set up camp. Actually, the reason why camping outside Helgen is such a good start, I'm pretty sure you start with a full set of leather armor when you start camped outside of Helgen. I don't know if it's the really good warm leather, uh, not leather, um, fur. I'm pretty sure you start with a full set of fur. And I'm not 100% sure if it's the really good warm fur or not. But any fur armor is a good start and you could add to it from there. Particularly because just down the hill is that other group of three bandits and usually one of them has the warm fur armor on them. All except for the head. And the hair, the helmet you can get from, is it Embershard Mine? No. Where is it? I can't think now. Oh, um. White River Watch is a good place to pick up the fur helmet. Right, so we've got our camp. It is 7.50pm, so let's sleep for the night. We're peckish. We have plenty of food. And, whoop, and we're going to switch to our throw voice shout and see how well that works for us. A bad little shout and it recharges pretty damn quick
Why don't I pick up the dagger? Oops. Wrong key. Did you hear something? nice and quick. I don't know if I want that, but I'll take it for the moment. Leave the rest because it's all going to be way too heavy. Uh, dwarven mail gauntlets. I mean, they're light armor. But no, thank you. I think I'll do without for the time being. Oh, look at this. I could have I could have slept in here. Where is... Oh, it's down that way. It's in the satchel. Yeah, I'll take all of that. Hey, a ring of archery. I will wear that. I don't think I... Oh, I've got my ring of surroundings at the moment. 20% sneak or 20% bow? 20% bow. Speaking of which, what am I doing as far as damage goes with that? 104. I was nowhere near the 400 points damage I was doing with my bow on the previous... A lay through. Right. But we're getting there. How is my archery skill doing? 75. Yes. Okay. Very good. Turn around, but go back in, because I didn't test if I can set up a camp inside here. Let's have a look. Nope. Cannot build a campsite while indoors. That's all right. Camp outside. Go inside. So, where am I? I am right there.
Yes, we just need to be following this. Very good. I heard him. Heard him following me. Sort of just going all over the place at the moment. Need to be heading east. Why are you running away? I killed the wolf. Get back here. Big chicken. I must have just been really close to the Saints and Seducers camp. And that bull is just... I think it's possessed by the Flash. Look at him go. that was all about. Uh, not going to get any frost salts. Fire salts, I mean. Damn it, I really wanted those fire salts too. I don't think you get them from the ones that Conjurers just summon.
Anywho. Do I have stuff to sell? I do. And it is mid-morning, so perfect time to head into Whiterun and sell a few things. game is stuttering a bit today and I don't know why. I think I need to reboot. That will wait until after the stream. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I don't claim looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Mm -hmm. I help my father looking to protect yourself. Or deal some damage. Nope. Just looking to sell stuff. All right. But I could make some more dwarven uh, bolts. I might just grab one lot of firewood. I'm not going to be able to make... Well, actually, I probably can make the dwarven bolts here. I'll test it. But I want to be sure I can do them at home. I don't want to have to go all the way to Riften. To um, Fort Dawnguard all the time just to make Dwarven Bolts. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. <laughs> Which is a massive hint to say I wanted to use the... Wood chopping block, please go away. Every oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Alchemist, then? Eh, yeah, not really.
Yeah, okay, so. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I can make the dwarven bolts here, which means I should be able to make them at home as well. But I'm here. Let's do that. Um, actually, the other question then is, how many of those do I have now? 335. I'm almost at a position where I could just start using those in place of my steel ones. At least for a while, but they're the most... They're the mostly most patent. Uh, pow, potent. That's the word potent that I've got. I mean, I have a handful of fire ones. but do we have anything to put away here? Firewood. Should just sell that. Uh, that should be it, really. Ring of Surroundings, I can't disenchant, I've already got that enchantment. Actually, it's a unique ring, I think. I don't think there's anything I can do with it. It's worth a hell of a lot, so I don't know that I really want to sell it either. Let's put it in the strong box. And then promptly forget it. Good. That's that done. Uh, still carrying a ridiculous amount of food. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, yeah, just need to get a couple more quests done and we can get all the different uh, crossbow bolts. But I'm starting to think ahead to the next step, which is killing more dragon priests is the next plan. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to start hunting them down and adding them to the collection downstairs. So stay tuned for that in coming episodes. Have a great holiday, everybody, if you celebrate, and I will see you soon. Bye now.